Hello, this is Handyman Learning RV with part three of the inverter install. Now doing the 12 volt side of the converter charger install, I decide where I'm going to put all the material for the 12 volt side. This is how I wired my inverter. There are not instructions, it's just going over the way I wired my system. I have two housings with covers. One will hold the power bar, the other will hold the shunt for the Victron battery to monitor. So the cutoff switches are going to go right here. So I'm going to cut a piece of plywood to put on the back of this to reinforce it. It has something better to screw into and be tight. So let me go cut a piece of plywood and I'll install that first. I took a half inch piece of plywood and put it on the back of the cabinet and drilled two inch holes for the switches to fit. and install the 250 amp inverter circuit breaker. I drill a two inch hole through the floor just so I can have an area for my wires to pass through to the original battery location to attach to the chassis and to the original breaker. So I use my two inch drill drill hole and I wind up so far as I can. Now I'll take my drill and go to underneath the vehicle and finish drilling the hole. Now I'm going to be installing the power bar and the shunt in their housing. As you probably don't know, I have the shunt backwards. So, but I fix it, I can turn it around before I do the finish my wiring. There we go. The light is where the positive cables will pass through. Now this is how I'm going to be mounting the fuses onto the battery. Fuses, one's 125, one's 300. One for a house, one for an inverter. I got a piece of copper stock that I'm going to make. Draw a hole, bolt that to it, put a stud up through here, cut it, then have that mount right to the stud. And that will hold my fuses right there. Now it's time to start getting ready to do the cabling. So I start by measuring the cables and see how long I'm going to need them. Then I try to determine the length. I take my cutter and it cuts right through the cable. Then I double check to make sure I have the proper size. And everything looks good. I also have a video that will show you how to make battery cables, either with a crimp tool or soldering them. For this project, I soldered all my connections for my battery cables, and I decided to use the waterproof heat shrink on all my cables also. I got black for negative and red for positive. Okay, getting the DC wiring done. I made a little axis on this side too for the wires to come through so I fish the wires through. Instead of going over each connection one by one, I'm just going to go over it as a whole with all the wires already connected.
Okay, the DC wiring for the inverter charger. Of course, we've got the battery connect wires. Then you have two 2 gauge wires coming off the negative. to the battery side of the shunt and coming off the shunt I got two wires hard to see coming off and joining the power bar right there then I got a inverter chassis ground going to the inverter then I got the inverter power negative power going and the last one is the chassis ground goes around comes down comes around goes down through the floor and connects to the chassis of the vehicle I took some two inch ABS pipe and cut a piece to fit through the hole to act as a grommet I use silicon all around it to fill in to make it a watertight fit, then I will be filling it with black foam to seal it. Now for the positive wires. Well, the first wire is for the battery monitor. It comes up, goes around, and plugs into the back of the, the shunt. And I have two power wires coming off the battery. They're both 2 -0. The first one's on a 125 amp fuse. And it goes up and around and goes to the first house disconnect switch. One off switch. Then leaves that and goes down through the floor to the battery connection in the battery bay. The old battery bay in the step location. The other one there's a 300 amp capacitor fuse, comes off, goes around, and goes to the first cutoff switch, which is for the inverter. Then it leaves the cutoff switch and goes to the to a 250 circuit breaker, and comes around and into the inverter. And that's how I wired that part of the inverter. So now I'm going to be putting them back together. I reinstall the slats that I took out earlier. I take the drawers and slide them back in. Now for the bottom, I leave the drawer retainer latch on the bottom. Now for the drawer opening, I put a couple of magnets in each corner by drilling a hole and gluing them in. And I do the same thing to the corners of, of the bottom drawer. And it just snaps right back in and holds into place. And this is all of it back together. Now I'm going to take out the BIM, the Battery Isolated Manager, the original one that came with the coach. It's pretty simple. It's just three bolts. The hardest thing is taking out the back bolt that's behind the headlight. But after you get that out, it just pulls right on out. Now the new BMI is identical, except for it's made for lithium batteries. With lithium batteries, they will take all the juice they can to recharge. And that would max out the alternator and it would start to overheat. So what it does is it uses the BIM battery isolator manager to cycle charging on and off to keep the alternator from overheating and burning up. Now to install it, it's basically identical. Just swap the wires over and put it back on up. And that was it for me. Now here are the battery disconnect switch. You got the house disconnect and the inverter disconnect. The wire from the house disconnect will come down, run through, and connect to the original 100 amp breaker. Then the other wire that was attached to the battery is also hooked up there. And that's the one that goes around to the 50 amp breaker that's right there. And the chassis ground is connected right there. I used the great stuff black insulation foam that's waterproof for the wires that pass through the floor. And I also refilled the area where the 
wires pass through to the refrigerator. I still use my step location to hold a box that holds my tire pump in it. And I'm also gonna be relocating the chassis battery to underneath the step here also.